Hi guys, this is Mary. Welcome back to Cards TV. I'm so excited to share some news with you today. I am on the new design team over at Paper Playtime. There's a new challenge format and a new schedule at Paper Playtime. And the third Monday of each month, the challenge will be Say It With Sentiments. And Janice was so kind and so nice to invite me to be on the team with Amy, Pam, Teresa, and Janice. And these ladies are so talented and I'm just so honored to get to uh, be on the team with them. And this is challenge number 58 and it's buttons and bows. So we all have to make something with a sentiment and have buttons and bows. And this is what I came up with. And this is my first Christmas card for the year. So I'm excited about that too. But this card is three and three quarters by nine and a quarter. And it will fit inside a business size envelope. Now I could have made it a little bit wider. But because I have the bows and the buttons, I didn't want it to be too snug. And also... This is the perfect size. If you do like a holiday newsletter that you send out, it will fit perfectly in here. Just tuck it right inside. And that would make it a little thicker. So that's why I cut it at three and three quarters this way. To give you a little bit more room in that envelope. But I had so much fun making this little card. Uh, of, like I said, the white card is three and three quarters by nine and a quarter. I have a green mat in the back and you can only see just a little bit of it and it was just to help this pattern paper uh, show up on this white card but the green mat is three and five eighths by nine and an eighth and then this paper that has the holly and the berries and little red snowflakes and polka dots there's a lot going on in this little striped paper but it's so cute this uh, mat is three and a half by nine and this came from the die cuts with the view christmas stack from last year i love 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 these little gingerbread men and they came from the cricket winter frolic cartridge love this little cartridge oh my goodness it's got cute things on there but these little gingerbread men now, if you cut this one out, it will cut holes for the little buttons and holes for the face and everything. And I didn't want that. So I cut the shadow because I knew I was going to stamp faces on these little gingerbread men. So I cut the shadow at four inches. I left it at four inches, however, and I did come back and cut this white outline. That would be like the frosting, but I didn't use the eyes in the mouth. I'll show you why. I used Peachy Keen Faces, and this is the basic paper doll face assortment package. And here's what the stamps look like. But I used, let's see, this one right here and this one right here because my little stamp says naughty or nice, and that's from the Cards TV Home for Christmas card set. Now, some of these uh, stamps are in two pieces so that you can put them out straight or you can line them up one on top of the other. I just thought that would make it more convenient because, you know, I told you guys you can cut them if you need to, but sometimes you might not want to cut your stamps. You might be afraid to. So some of these are in separate pieces and that way you can fit them in where you need to because sometimes our images are bigger and sometimes they're smaller. But I kind of left this one like this. I just moved this bottom one up just a little bit right down here when I stamped it. And I used some black stays on ink. But for my little faces, like I said, I used this one for the naughty face and this one for the nice face. And I just used some Studio G white pigment ink and this is the one inch size so it's this bigger one right down here and I stamped that on with the white ink and it makes a little tiny white dot 
on the eyes of each one of the faces so I just took a black zig pen and just put a little dot on that so you can see their eyes better I love these peachy keen faces these are my favorite and it's just the basic set but I have used these over and over again they're just so versatile I just love them but I'll give you a link so you can go over and check out the peachy keen faces but I just had a great time making this little card, and I'm so happy to be on this new design team. Say it with sentiments over at Paper Playtime. Now, guys, Lynn from Boots and Bling Time is giving away an awesome, awesome prize. So you want to go over to Paper Playtime, and I'll give you a link for that, and enter, get your little uh, buttons and bows card made and get entered. So you'll have a chance to win that awesome prize. And you can see that over at Paper Playtime. And you can also see all the creations that my design team sisters have come up with. They are so talented and you're just going to love seeing them. But thanks so much for coming by today, guys. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you again soon. Bye now.